Well, here's the explanation. Uh, we bought this thing. It is a 1959 Ford F-350, obviously a tow truck. It's a fancy homemade bumper. It's like Americana. It has a 223 cubic inch inline six cylinder, one barrel carburetor. Already has my favorite GM uh, alternator on it, mid 70s GM alternator, so that fixes that issue right away. But it is 12 volt. Uh, the Craigslist ad said, needs brake work, comma, has front end damage. So you can kind of put two and two together. Sorry about the wind, if you can hear it on the phone, but we'll see. So I guess the story is he would the guy that had this got this running, he inherited it at his garage. And uh he thought the brakes were good because the pedal was hard. Turns out the pedal was just hard, there wasn't actually any brakes. And when he drove it on his property, he hit another one of his trucks. So the radiator like really ate it. So that's done. Here's the rest of it here. In tank. Uh, gas tank or in cab gas tank It's manual of course Has a seat doesn't belong out of something something in the 70s uh, Has power nothing probably goes without saying Got some meaty dry rod of tires There's the Wrecker assembly. Uh, plate from 1977. I think the last registration we found was 1981. The winch on this is actually um, direct engine drive, I found out. It's not like a PTO. It's you're driven directly off the flywheel of the motor. So there's a drive shaft always spinning. And then there's a clutch that these engage, which operate the winch. Sling type winch, not your modern wheel lift. This bed is made out of like serious steel. Yeah, there it is. It's a lot of crap here, so it's kind of hard to get a pull back on it. But uh, there'll be videos of trying to get this thing running soon. Not really sure what we're going to do with it yet. If anything else, it'll be advertising for the business. But we'd like to drive it around. But there it is.